just doing another check-in. I finally did some research on the uh, medication and one of the prime side effects is headaches. And I have been getting migraines like five, six days a week. So I emailed my doctor and I told her I cannot do this medication anymore. I emailed her over the weekend, I, you know, because I knew she wasn't in the office. So I emailed her and I said, I cannot do this anymore. I have to stop this medication. So I'm waiting to hear back from her and see what she says. My hair looks so funky. Uh, I need to have it trimmed. Um, but that's where I am. Um, I, I have been so exhausted and I think the migraines are part of the exhaustion, not as much as the medication, but when you get a migraine, it if you haven't had migraines, they not only do you deal with the migraine itself, but there are side effects from the migraine. Um, I always, when I have a bad migraine, the next day I have what I call a migraine hangover. I'm just, I feel like I'm hungover without the headache. I'm just worn out, exhausted. It, it's really a crappy kind of feeling. And so, you know, I'm gonna try and adjust this down a little bit. <sighs> there we go. <laughs> um, so, that's a lot of how I've been feeling on, you know, when I don't have the migraine, then I have that. And so I'm going to, I stopped the medication over the weekend and I'm going to see how that goes. And I don't know. Um, you know, and I apologize for not getting things posted. I, like I said, it's just been, I've, just felt so damn crappy that you know it's all some days it's all I can do to remain upright it's I, I, I don't know how else to describe it other than just feeling crappy um, you know, I had four days off for Thanksgiving weekend and did not get a thing done. Um, so, I don't know, we will see what happens now and I'll keep you posted. And uh, you know, th uh, this goes to show you that it's not, you don't just deal with chemo and then it's all over. It, you know, I am, let's see, I was diagnosed in July of 2017, it's November of 2018, and things are still going. So, you know, things continue. Um, once you get that diagnosis, it's going to affect your life continuously. It, it's not just a one and done deal. So be prepared for that. I wasn't. So <laughs> I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.